I'm sorry, every time I think about New Orleans Saints, I always think about that Iggy Azalea song. I think it was uh, Fancy, where she'd be like, baby, who that? Who that? You that? What happened to Iggy Azalea? Anyway, um, YouTube. <laughs> YouTube, team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And the Saints getting LSU zone, Louisiana zone, uh, Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. Um, he was obviously a member of the Chiefs. They replaced him with Justin Reed. Uh, the Saints, they lost Marcus Williams to my Baltimore Ravens. You know, Saints and Ravens, they forever connected. Um, so the Saints were in search of a safety. And I wonder if the Saints thought about drafting a safety early. Um, we know they took receiver uh, Chris uh Alave early in the first round they, they traded up to go get him But I wonder if they were thinking about possibly Taking a safety maybe uh, And that's something that I always admire about the Saints The Saints They do not care They don't care what you think About how they do things How they structure things The Saints they, they go for it like every year People keep talking about the Saints And talking about oh they keep kicking a can down the road Oh they're gonna have to deal with all those cap problems one day But every single year Saints give you a reminder That if you want, it, want something to happen You want to make something happen You can make it happen They do it every single year Every single year Every single year they like 200 million over the cap But before free agency starts Before the new league year starts they always under how they do it. Shout out to their cap guys. But anyway, um, I think one of the biggest celebrations of this whole honey badger, Tyron Matthew signing with the Saints, that he didn't go to the Rams. Cause you know, that once you find out that the Rams are interested in somebody, it's like, oh boy, here we go. Another one. I was surprised that they didn't get Stephon Gilmore. I thought he was going to go there too. And then when it went, once it was said that they were interested in honey badger, like, oh yeah, yeah. They probably going to get him too. But New Orleans. They end up getting them. And what's funny, um, back to the Baltimore Ravens, since they signed Marcus Williams, they had been linked to Tyron Matthew so much. A lot of people thought that the Ravens were going to get him. But they end up, again, going the New Orleans route. Um, and, and people who come to the Ravens from New Orleans, they, they usually do pretty good. Uh, both from New Orleans Saints and both, both from New Orleans itself. Because guys like um, uh, Willie Sneed, he was solid with the Ravens. Um, Jacoby Jones from New Orleans. Ed Reed from New Orleans. But anyway, we, we all over sidetracked on this whole video, but it's all good. I still love y'all. Honey Badger. He, um, I'm surprised that it took this long for him to be signed. Really am. If you would have told me going into the offseason um, that Honey Badger, he wasn't going to get signed until after the draft. What? After the honey bad, no honey bad. Ain't he like the best safety on the market, man? He a little older, getting a little older, a little bit, but he he can still ball. He can still ball. So I would have been like, nah, ain't no way. But that's how it went. And as crazy as this off season has been, this is crazy that he was literally still out there, still out there. I'm just like, what, really? Um, but the Saints get that guy. They get that guy. It, it was said that the Saints were interested in him. Uh, and they were one of the other teams that were listed. Uh, when, free, when free agency was coming up, since they hadn't franchise tagged or signed Marcus Williams, uh, a lot of people linked Tyron Matthew to the Saints. But he's somebody that you can put in a lot of different roles on defense. He's not just a drop back safety. He can be a drop back safety. You could put him at both safety spots. You could put him at slot corner. You could blitz him. You you can move him all around. And one thing that's for sure that you're gonna get out of Tyron Matthew is a playmaker. And with the Saints, you um you not only have a playmaking safety with Tyron Matthew, but you have somebody that is you know he's going to be looking extra. And I don't even think it's going to necessarily make him press because he's a very smart player, a uh, very instinctive player as well. But you're getting a, a safety who is definitely extra motivated. Um, and I think he looks for motivation. I remember watching, um, I think it's called, is it called Undisputed? The, the show with LeBron James and them. Um, where they saw it in that little barbershop setting and they just talking sports and just really talking life. 
I think it's called Undisputed. Maybe it's called something else. But anyway, one thing LeBron James says that he does before a lot of games, he says he'll go on Twitter. And this is it's a little crazy, but some people could deal with that. Some people can't. Um, everything ain't for everybody. Teach his own. But LeBron James said he goes on Twitter before games to look to see what people are saying about him, like negative stuff. He goes and looks for it because he said that motivates him when he's playing, that that motivates him to prove those people wrong. He said he does that. And it was the episode, he's, it was the episode that had Lamar Jackson on there. Um, but anyway, he said that's what he does. I was like, oh, OK. Um, all right. That's something right there. Everybody got their own way that they find motivation. But with him doing that. That reminds me of Honey Badger because so much this off season, if I would see, um, if I would see Honey Badger pop up on my feed on Twitter, a lot of times he would be engaging with somebody. A lot of times it was like Chief, Chiefs people, whether it be Chiefs fans or Chiefs uh, some like media people uh, or Chiefs social media people and whatnot. Uh, he would be engaging with them when they would be speaking negatively about him. Uh, so he is very active on Twitter. So you can tell he definitely looks and sees and he openly sees it ain't like because, you know, some, you know, a lot of players, they, they see when people are talking about him. They see it, especially the more popular players. They see when people are talking about him, good or bad. Um, but he but a lot of those players, they'll see it, but they won't say anything. They'll keep it to themselves or they'll try to ignore it. But with him, he attacks it head on. Oh, you said this about me? Okay, watch this. Oh, y'all gonna miss me. I'm gonna miss y'all too, but y'all y'all gonna miss me even more. Oh, yo, you think I still can't play? Okay, watch this. I got you. So with him, uh, I, I say all that to say this. The Saints are not only getting a playmaking safety, but they get in a safety that has a lot of extra motivation this year uh, to really prove to people like, hey, I still got it. Hey, I can still play. Hey, I can still ball. And I am going to show you that rather than tell. Well, I'm going to tell you, too. I'm going to tell you on Twitter, too, because, again, he's very active on there. But I'm going to show you. So believe me when I say um, this is a real good move for the Saints. Now, I wonder with today, because this move hasn't been made official yet. Um, but I wonder if uh, the Saints are waiting to make it official Till after today at 4 p.m. Because today at 4 p.m. Um, this is the deadline for fifth year options to be picked up. But it is also um, the deadline for any uh, unrestricted free agents um, to count against the compensatory pick formula. So I wonder if they're waiting till after today at 4 p.m. Well, 3 p.m. in New Orleans time. But I wonder if they wait until after today. Uh, at that time to make the announcement official so they don't <laughs> they don't give the chiefs a comp pick and for any players that they lost or did they even lose anybody because saints they, they that's another thing about the saints every year they'll be 200 mil over the cap and so many people be like oh they're gonna have to cut that guy oh they're gonna cut him oh they're gonna cut him too oh man they're getting ready to lose him they don't be losing nobody they don't be losing nobody in fact, they even bring people back, give people new contracts and what. They don't be losing nobody. Every year they do this, man. They like, oh, NFL ain't going nowhere. Uh, yeah, salary caps, salary schmap. We ain't worried about that every year without fail. Um, but shout out to the Saints, man. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to see how he does uh, with their defense. And he's usually a leader on defense, too. So that's another thing. I love one thing that I was hoping. I, I figured it wasn't going to happen, but it's a player that I love, Demario Davis. Um, and Demario Davis, uh, people asked me, um, it was before the draft, it was early in the offseason, before free agency, they asked me a dream scenario for the Ravens, some dream players. If you could choose any players from a lot of different teams, who would it be? Any player, position, whatever, to add to the Ravens. Mine was Demario Davis. Because I, I, I love him as a linebacker, man. He is just, to me, he's a great linebacker. I love his game. I, I, I love just the energy that he brings. I love the sleeves. Um, I, I, I love Demario Davis, man. Um, and he's a leader, too. Uh, but so to add to that leadership with Tyron Matthew, that's, that's a good thing. Because you can have guys that are leaders who are not playmakers. You can have guys that are playmakers that aren't leaders. 
But when you can have both of them all in one, boom. That's it right there. That's the one. So, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. Who that? Nation. Saints. Y'all already know it's all love on this end, man. Um, enjoy Honey Badger because uh, he's going to make a lot of plays. And he gets to play where he's from. I love when players get to do that, man. I love it. They, when you get to play where you're from, it's like that. that is one of the most beautiful things that can happen to a player because that gets you even more motivation. Because it's like, man, I got to put on for the city, man. I got to put on for the crib. So he's in good hands, in good shape, and in a great situation signing with New Orleans once it becomes official. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. We out.